Hey everyone, welcome back to Clever Octopus. I know, I know, I've been gone for a long time, but uh, yeah, the sad truth of it is that uh, trying to do all this work myself and do the video editing and the YouTube and answering comments and all that stuff is just too much to do together. So uh, obviously I chose to work on the boat instead. Um, yeah. So, it's well past my end of summer deadline. Wasn't really a deadline, estimate. There we go, estimate of completion. Um, and the boat's not done, obviously. It's not in the water, I'm still here at the boat yard. And uh, the, there's a couple reasons for that. The biggest one being that the diesel engine didn't really want to run. Um, it definitely could be repaired, but rather than putting money at something that I didn't really want anyway, uh, Lee and I decided to do the electric conversion now. And that meant that we had to find some budget for it, about $10,000, and get all the parts ordered, get the batteries ordered, do a bunch of fabrication work. So most of that work is done now and that's taken up quite a bit of time and it prevented me from really painting the hull of the boat because I had to weld things to the hull and I wasn't sure where exactly. So uh, yeah, a large section of the hull couldn't be painted for a long time. And then that caused the paint on the hull to be pushed up against bad weather. So this time of year, uh, here in Bellingham, uh, Washington State, for those of you who aren't familiar, um, it rains almost every day. And the days that it doesn't rain um, this time of year, it's cold and windy. Um, so today it's gorgeous outside, except that the wind is blowing about 20 knots and it's a very, very cold wind out of the north, and I would not be able to do any painting today just because it's too cold. So luckily, I got all the painting done, and I got all the anti-foul on, so that's done. Well, except for the rudder. Um, yeah, still working on the self-steering system. It's just been getting pushed back and back and back. Uh, yeah, other than that, the mast is the only thing, the really big thing left to do. And it has one fitting, one swage fitting, that's cracked. And I don't know the age of the rigging. Um, it's likely that it's the original rigging, 40 years old, and it should be replaced, all of it. But having just spent $10,000 on an electric motor, and batteries, uh, I can't replace all of it. So I'm gonna replace just the set of stays where the cracked swage is, and my four stay and the inner four stay as well. And I'm getting rid of the roller furler. So yeah, we'll have Hank on head sails, and I like the reliability of that. It may not be as super convenient all the time, but I like that I can always get my sail down without cutting it to shreds if I need to. Um, yeah, and I like being able to change out the sail easily if I want a different size or shape of sail. Yeah, um, so that's been what's going on, and I guess that means it's time for the big reveal of the paint job <laughs> and after that I'm basically gonna call it quits on YouTube videos so the boat will be in the water I have no doubt about that and Lee and I will be out there cruising around the world eventually um, I'm unsure of the timeline I mean it's just weather that's stopping me right now. It's just very cold and very wet most days here. So yeah, it might be next summer, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, I 
I got a great deal on a fantastic boat and everyone who's been here to see it loves it. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm perfectly happy with uh, this project and the time that it's taken and, and all of that. So uh, it's too windy outside to talk. So I'm just going to show you the paint job on this side of the hull where it's sunny and then that'll probably be it. I mean, maybe I'll check in with a video once in a while, but I, I wouldn't count on it. So uh, it's been nice having you around and maybe I'll see you out on the water. Are you ready? There's the sky. And there's someone's mast. And bang, there it is. Clever octopus.